Many hotels in New York City are opening their doors for the first time in a long time, and that means new and exciting places to eat and drink. Our first stop is at the Public Hotel on the Lower East Side. Chef, it is so great to meet you. Same. Born and raised in Lima, Peru, had one of the top restaurants there, and now New York City has you all to ourselves. Wow. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, I was I was leading one of the most important or, or the most important restaurant in Peru for the last 25 years. And now I'm here. So you are bringing the flavors of Peru right here into the public hotel, and you have a few different ways to dine. First of all, we have Louis, which is our uh, grab-and-go uh, shop. And then here we have Cantina, which is a, it's a celebration of, a, of an old taverna or an old cantina back in Lima with the Pisco Bar, which is our, our national spirit. We have seven cocktails, uh, but we have our daily Pisco Sour. We have our daily Chilcano. Cheers. Ceviche bar over there. Why is ceviche so important to Lima? Well, ceviche is, uh, for Peruvian history, is quite new dish. The basic ceviche is just fish, salt, lime, chili, and onions. I love it. Yeah. Everything is so fresh. So we're just getting the party started. So we're gonna go into the restaurant. We are. Okay, so Popular is a world-inspired restaurant with some Peruvian influence, of course. We have a little anticucho, but this time with the king brown mushroom. Lomo saltado, which is one of our staple dishes, uh, Peruvian and Chinese influence. Mm. It's my first time eating at this restaurant. It's very good. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> <laughs> and we get dessert. We actually were lucky enough to get some Peruvian chocolate here in New York. So it's a Peruvian chocolate, and I, and I just put everything I love in this cup. So we have a... Chocolate ganache, we have chocolate meringue, caramelized peanuts. Whoa. It's good, huh? Mm. Chef, this is incredible. Thank you so much. Welcome to New York. Thanks a lot for coming. I'm so happy to have you here. Up next, we're at nearly ninth at the brand new Arlo Midtown. Chef Corey, congratulations on the opening. Thank you, thank you. You guys have a bunch of places to eat and drink here at the Arlo Midtown. We do. We have our coffee shop. Uh, you can enjoy food at the bar, outside in the terrace, which has a great retracting roof, uh, the lounge, and on the roof itself. Uh, great views of the Empire State Building, uh, Hudson Yards, and amazing sunsets over the Hudson. So you can come in and order a cocktail here, and you guys have some pretty ones. We have an amazing uh, cocktail list, several different kinds of spritzes, Negronis, and our Chao Calore, which is uh, Casamigos tequila and a little uh, tagine seasoning. Take this up to the roof. <laughs> well, I love that we got a taste of the cocktails, but now it's time to eat. Go. Yeah. So Corey, now we're in the terrace area. What do you serve at the restaurant? So nearly ninth, you know, I try primarily to be American, Italian seasonal, right? Only ingredients that are in season, never anything that's out. We got the classic charcuterie, you know, always a great starter. My personal favorite, the uh, tagliatelle pomodoro. It's fresh pasta, it's a clean tomato sauce with San Marzano from Italy. Everything you always want. Our margarita pizza, something I'm very proud of. Uh, worked about three months on that dough. If you're gonna make pizza in New York, you can't embarrass yourself, 100%. Drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> we got some great bouchot mussels and a parsley puree and white wine sauce. That's like a nice little meal right there. 100%. And some great Carfona artichokes. Uh, Carfona artichokes are imported from Rome. They are very uh, top tier artichoke. Now, is this your first time being an executive chef? It is. It what is. has that been like? It's been a lot. You know, it's been a uh, trial by fire. You know, jump in, see if I can swim. But uh, I think I'm, I think I'm swimming. And you've worked with some really amazing chefs here in New York. Uh, Jonathan Waxman, you know, Barbudo is my foundation. It always will be. You know, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. Just seasonal, quality, just a really good dinner. And we love those places, so we're going to come back here often. Great. <laughs> Thank I'll be you. here. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.